Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday morning to all my Ghost Rider posse out there, to all my new subscribers. Man, this your man, Ghost Rider. Excuse me. <coughs> man, out here, up here in North Carolina, uh, waiting on them to get some trailers moved around so that um, I can get moved back in and get this load off. Um, hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, I've been watching the news. They got some kind of tropical storm off the coast of North Carolina, but uh, well, they say it's going to be a tropical. Well, they're they're saying that it's probably going to break up, but we're just it's getting a, it's raining real, real good out here. But you know what they say in the military: if it ain't raining, we ain't training. So hey, I'm used to it, you know. But um, man, I hope everybody did good. I hope everybody uh, fared last time. I think last time I was talking about, or did I tell you about that hurricane down Louisiana? But make a long story short, um, I was able to avoid it. They had me a load going directly into, right into the dead smack of the eye. And I had to, uh, I, I had to switch that up. No, 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 sir. At first, at first, when I first accepted the load, I was like, all right, cool. You know, I wasn't thinking nothing about it. But then when I looked at I thought maybe the load was delivering in the upper part of Louisiana. But then when I actually looked on the map and looked at where it was, it was right there. I was like, Havana, huh? Something, Louisiana. Right there down by the water. And, the, and that uh, doggone, the eye was got, uh, that whole storm was going right over that area. I was like, no. No, no, that's not gonna work for me. And they, they switched me out. So, but man, everything's been going good here at R.A. Garrison. Uh, you know, for the most part, you know, you're gonna, like in every trucking company, you're gonna have different, you know, situations. But like I said earlier in my other videos, man, for the most part, man, they have been on it with dealing with situations. And uh, I, I, I'm just not having any complaints right now. Right now, it's been about a month and a half I've been with them. Um, they've been keeping me uh, steady with loads and stuff. Uh, my my net bring home has been really, really. It's been decent. It ain't it ain't been the greatest, but it's been it's been doable. It's been decent considering the freight rates. You know, I'm maintaining. I'm maintaining. So that's that's the most important thing. I'm maintaining. Um, and boy, I don't know if it's just everybody's waiting on how this election is going to turn out or what. But uh, I'm excited. I, I'm excited because I truly believe it's going to get better. For the, for all those out there that are, uh, are like, got the thinking like, man, is it going to get better? I, I, I firmly believe it's going to get better. So I'm, I'm saying, man, y'all hang in there stick it out you know to all my true i mean for all those that have been out here for a while you know we, we go through this like every couple of so many years you know and you just hang in there i mean and and for those i, I just want to say this for those um in situation i don't know what your situation is or whatnot you know with, with your particular company or who you're driving for but if it's, I mean, if it's really, really bad, only, only you can determine how much you're going to take and how much you're going to accept. But if it's really, really not that bad, I just say hang in there and stick it out because they're, they're constantly jumping and jumping and jumping. The, the, the problem is still going to be when you go to another company, you're going to experience the same problem. All these companies are the same. I mean, you're going to have communications, you're going to have bad loads, you're going to have bad areas. I mean, it's just all in you deciding whatever company you're with, you know, how much you can put up with, you know, what's your limit, what's your toleration. And here, I truly feel like I'm, I'm, I'm home. I'm where, I, well, there ain't, there ain't nothing else after this, you know. But like I said, so far, man, it's just been good. I mean, you know, dispatcher, you know, he's been on point, you know, uh, payroll's been on point. I mean, everybody I've talked to has treated me with the utmost respect. You know, and like I said, the biggest thing that stands out with me, with Ari Garrison is, man, they they handle the problems. They try their best to take care of it. Now, communications, as far as, you know, sometimes, like I said before, sometimes you're going to run into where you're not going to be able to reach reach somebody, but they got multiple ways you can communicate. I mean, they got the email, you, got, you can text message, you can call, you can uh, leave voice messages, uh, you can leave a call back so that when... A line does get open and it'll call your phone back and keep you in line. So, I mean, there's different ways. And if you've been in the trucking business long enough, you already know that one of the major things with every trucking company is communication. 
I mean, that's just, it just goes hand in hand. But like, like I said, man, I just, I, I just been chilling, you know. Uh, I gotta pick a load up here, and then I gotta take it up to uh, MI. Um, so that's gonna be pretty good. I, I picked this load up um, the other day out of Iowa and brought it down here. That was a nice little ride. Man, Iowa is so pretty during this time. You know, I was on the back roads, not the interstates, but on the, you know, the little state roads and man, just driving through all the farmlands and flatlands and stuff. And, you know, looking at the big farmhouses and stuff like that and just the trees. I mean, it's just the weather. It was just, it was a nice little, nice little uh, subtle drive. Um, but yeah, man, I'm just, I'm, I'm doing good. I just, you know, I'm gonna come on here just to check on y'all, you know? See how everything's going and then let y'all know, hey, I'm still at it, I'm still at it, still rolling hard. And y'all know me, I'm the one, I'm gonna be the one to tell you the truth. I'm gonna sugarcoat it. When it's good, it's good. And when it's bad, it's bad. I'm not gonna hold nothing because I always want somebody to be like that with me. You know, just tell the truth. Don't sugarcoat it, I'm not on here to recruit. I'm not, I'm just up here to tell you what I'm going through and my experiences and how I'm dealing with them and how I get through them. If they get good, if they get worse, I'm going to put it out there. And right now, as we speak, it is pretty good for me. And, and I'm, I'm holding on to that. And yes, of course, you gotta, you know, you've got to put in your work. You got to put in your lead work. You got to stand by things that you say. You only, you know what your truck cost is and what it costs to maintain your truck. So you got to stand on those principles. Cause in the end, guess what? If you're like me, the sole provider, in the end, it all lands back on you. Okay. So you got to stand your ground, but in a firm and tactful way. You know, there's ways of speaking. There's ways of communicating to getting what you want. Sometimes you may not get what you want, but you can get come darn near pretty close to what you're looking at. Sometimes you're going to have to compromise, you know? But, I mean, it's just all in how you communicate and, and how you start out and, and just, you know, you're going to have your ups and your downs. It's just part of trucking. You just got to have that attitude like, okay, this is part of trucking. Roll with the flow. You got to learn how to roll with the flow. Y'all feel me? Man, just shout out to my longtime posses, man. Y'all been hanging in there with me. Man, I, I appreciate it. Man, 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 I appreciate it big time. Man, oh, I just, my bad. One of the guys I was talking to, he said he's supposed to be moving some trailers. I wonder if he, I said a great truck. Man, come knock on my door. Dude. Y'all hold on for a second. How are you gonna do JMP Logistics? I was here before JMP Logistics. Wow. But you know what? My poem is not till eight, so I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. Maybe you gonna get all of us. Y'all hold on, y'all hold on, y'all hold on. I'm trying to peep some. Oh, he's just getting paperwork. Okay, okay. He getting paperwork. Okay. All right. Cool, man, it's raining out here. It's, it's like truly, truly raining. But all right, y'all. If y'all hear the TV, I got my TV on in the background, watching some some, some morning news. Um, but yeah, man, y'all holler at a brother. Y'all holler at me, man. Y'all y'all let me know y'all still alive, man. I, I worry about all y'all. You know, let me, tell me some of your experience. Are you doing good? Are you just maintaining? Are you just above water? You know, let me know what's going on. To my new subscribers, hey, y'all in for a great adventure. Hey, it's just the life of the Ghost Rider. You know what I'm saying? Oh wow, okay, cool. I just uh this morning I sent a message to my uh my dispatch and told him, you know, hey, you know, after this load up in Michigan that I need to um I need to uh get a route going by the house for maybe a ten hour break and then going to uh Coleman our our main yard because gotta get some uh some things looked at, you know, my truck's due for a dog on uh, PM and 
just some just some little things get these uh annoying lights off my dashboard but um other than that man it's been it's been cool you know this weather i'm, I'm just curious i'm anxious to see what the winter time is gonna bring um i know it, we should be picking up in the reefer department because you know you got the holidays coming uh, i know the nestle loads they should be picking up if y'all if y'all got contracts with nestle and all them they should be starting to get ready to pick up because you know october halloween you know candy and stuff like that hopefully the, the uh the chicken plants uh, pick up the turkey plants you know if you're hollow for tyson that should be a good run good lick but yeah I don't want to keep on here. I just came this morning just to holler at y'all. All right, y'all. It's your man, Ghost Rider. And like I always say, peace out. And um, keeping it moving.